Good morning, everybody. Good day. We got into LA last night. Last night, like we landed at like 4 p.m., okay? We just did a little stroll, took the evening, did a little shop, and we're staying at the West Hollywood Edition Hotel. And we don't have much of a view to show you, but we do have a very cute little patio. Cute. And this morning we're hopping to it. Gonna go grab some breakfast and check out the gym. We went and looked at the gym last night. One of the best hotel gyms I've ever, ever seen. And I've stayed here before, but it was pre-programmed, so I didn't appreciate the gym the same way that I do now. I didn't pack my protein powder this time because we were out and I was so upset. My order didn't come in time. We got a beet juice. It's really good. Delicious. Okay, we're at the gym. And this is what I'm talking about with the bra. Okay, it's cute. This little. It pinches. If I buy a larger size, the boobs are too big. This is the thing, you know? This is what I'm wearing. I've got my cute little Lacoste jacket, white tank top, my Goldie jeans that I just love so much. Little silver aid heels just to keep it cute. Jag, got my sunglasses. And the makeup is barely any. I've got sunscreen on. Then I put a little bit of the Nude Sticks SPF blush. I'm here with SkinCeuticals for a little adventure, which we'll talk more about later, but very happy, very grateful to be here. So I'm gonna go meet the group, head out. And that will be the start of the day. So welcome, my darlings. Welcome again to LA. Okay, so apparently the rest of the group had gone to spend the day in Venice Beach, and they just went. Um, so it's just me, the man. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was all a blur. It was all a blur. Just a lot of lovely sunshine strolls, did a nice little workout, had a little welcome event with SkinCeuticals um, where we got to watch a panel and whatnot, which was really fun. And this morning, I'm just gonna, you know, actually, I got this travel size Floritin CF, if anyone cares. Although, after the panel yesterday, everyone was talking about how CE Ferulic is the one, and I thought, have I been led astray all this time? I've been using Floritin CF for like four or five years at this point straight and everyone was like see if we really get the one we'll confirm that later we'll discuss that later but anyway we'll see but it was a lovely little evening and today's kind of the the main events which i'll bring you along to later of course but this morning i did a quick rip at the gym you guys it's just it was busy we're staying at the edition hotel west hollywood and the gym is so nice it's so big and so stacked for a hotel gym uh but it was really busy even one guy brought his like toddler and the toddler was like sprinting on the treadmill it was hilarious but lol i could not bring you along for my workout today so apologies sincerest apologies Mr. you are. But this morning I'm actually getting ready of a very exciting meeting. I can tell you nothing about it, but just for a little timestamp for future, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, uh, July. Just know that this was my first official mention of that time to you and we can all discuss it then. Sorry for being that really annoying person who teases something so far in advance, but exciting times in the beauty space are coming. Uh, yeah, so I'm just getting ready to have that lovely little discussion today. And another thing that Dan and I were doing, sorry, we did just go to breakfast. We went to breakfast because it was just, you know, needed to get it out of the way before I got ready for the meeting. But we were going over our plans for everyday May. And I know it seems insane because what's today? Today is April 4th, April 4th. It seems insane to be talking about it, but we have been planning every day May for the last couple of weeks. And this morning we were kind of like finalizing the first little bit of the calendar. And like when you're traveling a lot, it's kind of wild how early on you have to prep for these things in order to have an efficient, efficient time because we plan to get a good head start on it this year. No delays in sight. So lots of fun to come, you guys. Lots of fun to come, so excited. I did wear this outfit yesterday and I stained my tank top, but it's kind of like right around the areola and you kind of can't see. So I'm just gonna keep 
wearing it because for whatever reason I was like a day down in my outfits. I did not I did not pack accordingly. My brain is kind of leaving me. And also yesterday was so warm and today is like freezing outside. So we are just outfit repeating. <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish my makeup really quick here, y'all, and then we'll head out. And we're gonna have a lovely little adventure today. A little day in the life. Spend the day with me in LA, LA. And they can you tell I had an energy drink this morning? Yes. Yes, you can. Specifically, my gorilla mind. <laughs> when we landed in LA, we ran to the vitamin shop and picked these up. Use my code Alana. No, but listen, it's hard to get your hands on the energy drinks in Canada. You have to order them online and you can only order like one case at a time, which for those of you who don't drink energy drinks, you'd be like an entire case, that's ridiculous. But it's, you know, when you wanna get the different flavors, but the vitamin shop has a blackberry lemonade and it's recently me and Dan's favorite activity to land in America and run to vitamin shop or GNC and pick up the Gorilla Mind <laughs> energy drinks. Uh, also the cinnamon churro protein, the creatine, the pre-workouts, you know. The Gorilla Sleep, we just use everything, really. Derek, more plates, more dates, just, he really does it all. He really made it all and does it all. So, and you can save some moolah if you wanted to make an order. Guys, I'm gonna do my makeup. Check with you after. Okay, makeup is done. Here's my makeup for the day. I did change my shirt. I thought, you know what? If there's any opportunity to actually like put on a cute fit, <laughs> let it be now. Let's not wear the stained tank top. So here's, here's the top. There's my outfit. Also, I posted my sunglasses on Instagram yesterday and I got so many DMs. So many DMs about the sunglasses and they're the Lacoste sunglasses, literally what we got when we were in Miami. But these cutie little frames, they're like a clear beige frame, which I'm not gonna put on right now just in case I get a little mark on my makeup, but that's it, that's the look. Roll out. Okay, I finished my meeting and ran straight to the first event. So Skin Typicals has taken over the suite and we're gonna go chat with the dermatologist. We get to go through our skincare routines. I see Dr. Pablo in the room. I'm gonna go in and say hi. But I just wanted to let you know, I'm walking in. Okay, so I'm here with Mamina, who was one of the dermatologists on the panel last night. You guys for skin, please bask in the glow. Hi there. <laughs> I was asking her what blush she was wearing. It's say. It's say. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out the color. We'll figure out the color. Yeah. My room is literally like orders. So <laughs> oh, perfect. Perfect. But we're going to sit here. She's going to look at my skin. She's going to tell me, tell me what's up. <laughs> that was so breezy. Also, Dr. Mamina was stunning followed her on the gram yeah when they were speaking on the panel last night i couldn't look away from her cheeks i was like what is on your cheeks it's so good she's stunning anyway we did a little skincare routine as you guys know like listen we've been working with skinceuticals i i have not talked about this on youtube but with dr katie Pelesne and with skinceuticals but like i've been going to dr katie outside of skinceuticals regardless but they definitely gave us the opportunity to film a little series together. And if you guys follow me on TikTok, I've been posting my little interview series that I filmed with Dr. Katie Blesne. So we did one on retinol, one on vitamin C, and we have one more going up with her. Maybe it'll already be up by the time this video is up. But I was really excited. It was so fun that we got to do that. It was kind of a nice like little marrying of worlds there. Um, so obviously we've already been like, We've been using SkinCeuticals, okay? But for the, the purpose of the event, I thought it was cute that they did that. And it's also actually really nice to be able to speak to a variety of doctors and dermatologists because everyone's opinions are gonna be different. Everyone has their kind of like favorite go-to products from different brands. Everyone's gonna tell you something different. So having the ability to be able to meet, interact, and speak to a bunch of different people in the field I think is really exciting and you kind of always learn something new. So there were three products that were actually new to me. So Dr. Pavlou in the panel last night said that his favorite product is the Phytocorrective Essence Mist. And this is a skin boosting essence, soothes skin and reduce, reduces visible redness. So I'm excited because LOL, my skin is always red. And then Dr. Mamina said to use the HA intensifier to help with extra hydration um, at night. And then she also said this daily brightening UV defense sunscreen, which I use the tinted one from SkinCeuticals, but there's a brightening one. And apparently we can't get this in Canada. 
<laughs> and that's probably why I've never used it. But let me show you the bottle. Daily brightening UV defense. Brightens an even skin tone and protects from the sunshine. So that was a new product I've never seen or tried from SkinCeuticals. So very excited about that. You best believe I will be slapping that on my face. She did say it's a chemical sunscreen, so some people can be sensitive to it. But I mean, if it's brightening at the same time, I'm willing to try. So that was the, the little event. Very cute, so fun to meet. So many smart people, really. Now listen, I <laughs> have to tell you, I'm about to embark on a little panic shop because tonight is like a big soiree. Um, and I got the dress code the night before we left. Our flight was the following morning. I got the dress code the night before. Um, and I was not prepared. I do not have anything cocktail, like fancy cocktail I don't have. I have my one stod dress that is like my long, long gown. And other than that, I have nothing that's remotely appropriate. All of my like dresses are very casual or like beachy resort wear. Like I got nothing. So uh, we're gonna go Uber. <laughs> Dan and I are gonna go grab some lunch and then it's panic shopping time. So join me for another episode of getting dress codes last minute, LOL, send help. So we just left, we came to get some lunch and I will not shut up, I will not shut up about my love for Goop Kitchen. I think it's so, oh yeah, that's promising. We see a bag, perfect. Okay, I'm obsessed with Goop Kitchen and the bowls and we just keep Uber eating it and we're like, let's just go, let's go eat there. And the address took us here and we're like, um, crap, is this the office and not the actual restaurant? But I just saw someone walk out with a bag, so I have hope that this is the actual restaurant itself. Okay, so it's a kiosk. <laughs> you literally just order at this tablet. That's it. It's the Hollywood protein bowl for me. Chicken. This. This. Get it in my mouth. <laughs> Goop Kitchen Hall! <laughs> we recently discovered these. They're the curry chicken salad rolls. It comes with mango chutney. Like, 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 so, so good. Okay, I get the Hollywood Power Bowl with the Herb Aoli. Dan, can you please show a clip of this glory? Yeah. Walking around Beverly Hills. Nothing yet. Ah. Unless I wanted to spend like eleven thousand dollars on a set. Also, I love that we're in matching jackets. <laughs> <laughs> we just went into a store and a girl asked us if we were sponsored by Lacoste, and I was like, technically, technically. <laughs> I'm in actual panic, okay? I need to tell you what happened. So we were shopping, okay? The event was done at three. We grabbed lunch, we Ubered there, whatever. All the stores closed at six. All the dresses were like linen, summer, resort, like nothing cocktail. Also, like I am, I am particular in the sense that there's just a lot of things that I just don't feel comfortable in. I was literally running around like a freak. I don't know what to do. The event is right now. It's now. <laughs> I think we can. What I'm trying to say is I did buy a set. I bought this little set because I was like, oh, okay, this is giving like Mew Mew dupe. Cute. I bought this little blazer and skirt, but it's just like, I don't know what I was thinking. Like I panicked. I panicked. There was nothing and I bought it and now it looks like I'm going to school. Like it looks like I'm going to class. I'm mortified. I'm mortified. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I tucked the shirt in. I literally. Um, I just realized that I didn't actually film this for the vlog because I filmed it on a like a vertical video on my phone, but 
We had ordered crumble cookies. Insert photo here. It gets so much cookie. It's so, so, so much cookie. Um, they were kind of like, I'm a, I'm a big icing gal, so I love how much icing they put on the cookies. So that was like, a, I was literally giggling. But in hindsight, the price that you pay for not that great of a cookie is kind of like it's overhyped for sure. However, I know that they change their flavors all the time, so it could just be this week's flavors that I wasn't driving with, but I just dug this out of the bottom, like the boxes in the bottom of our garbage, and I just dug out this piece from the box, and that's what I'm snacking on right now. I took my hair out of its pony, and you know how lovely that feels to just undo the pony and then rub your hands through the gelled hair it's like oh the event is done we got some pics uploading tonight's vid and yeah. that's the evening oh actually they sent us with a little bag oh that is so funny okay a ce ferulic we got ce ferulic lifetime supply and a giant bottle oh my god a giant bottle of champagne is this gonna make me age backwards too that is a huge bottle skin suticles you are a dream I love you dearly. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. Did I tell the vlog that earlier? Our neighbors? You guys, listen. Earlier, when we got back, I just had a little lay because I was panic shopping, you know. My outfit disaster. So when we got back, I just like laid in the bed. I actually can't confirm. I'm assuming, do you think it was above us? I have heard some sex sounds through walls in my day, okay? I'm not a stranger to the sound of that. This was sounds i have never heard like this was on another level like a porn was being filmed for sure there's no way you can't tell me that there was not a like a crew <laughs> so something was happening up there this woman was screaming screaming like all the sounds that you could imagine from pornography were coming through our wall oh <laughs> we're being heard through our wall guys it was sounds that i will never recreate for you that i would never recreate in general um and that i've never heard in my life it was so funny Dan and i were beside ourselves giggling and they just you know it just sounded like they had a great time they were having a beautiful thursday afternoon lol um okay guys lol 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 i'm gonna go to sleep love you we'll see you in the morning good morning good morning we're packing we're packing because these trips are always short and sweet. Really. I was about to tell you something and I'd forgotten. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We went to Aloe. Aloe? And I'm just putting this as a reminder to myself to show you guys what I picked up because all the girlies, all the girlies are wearing Aloe. I used to, I, I, when we were there, she was like, have you ever shopped at Aloe before? And I was like, I don't think so. And then I put my name in and it said I'd made two orders and like, yeah, I guess I must have had aloe in the past. I just don't remember my thoughts on it. But they opened a store in Vancouver, and I went to it, and I didn't really see anything I liked. But they definitely have some things that changed my tune, like these leggings. I was like, wow, these are really, really freaking cute. I see everybody going to that aloe gym, and I want to go to that aloe gym. Not, not because of aloe, but just because the gym looks sick. I thought it was, like, literally a gym that you could go to. I didn't realize it was, like, a an invite only fancy club and i thought that was hilarious um <laughs> my bad but what i appreciate with brands like aloe and some of these other brands what did i just see i saw a brand this morning sorry there's no light from this side okay i'll just hold you lululemon has exceptional quality but they very rarely make new fun things like all of their pieces and sets are kind of very classic for those of us canadians who have had lululemon and only lululemon for forever with no other options in canada um it's been the same thing every single year it's kind of the same with aritzia like aritzia is new to everybody else but for us who only had aritzia in canada as an option the styles really haven't changed in the last like 15 years you know it's been the same thing over and over again so i like it when people do some really fun and funky things i love seeing cool color blocking cool textures cool stitching you know that kind of makes me excited with workout gear that's also what i love about csb i feel like they just make really nice pretty cool sports bras and different shapes and whatnot but the price doesn't always match the quality you know so that's kind of been my my thoughts but regardless i'll show you guys what i bought when we get home but for now packing it up and saying toodaloo to la once again <laughs> good morning from our park walk guys we got in late last night late 
we went to bed at midnight, but we got home, we unpacked everything, which never happens usually. Usually when we get home, we sit on it the next day, but we just knew we needed to get up and at it this morning. So unpacked last night, we played tennis this morning, did our leg day, it's 9.30 and we're walking. Oh, 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 oh. Spring is in the hell. Also this little alfalfa sprout right here is so funny to me. Back home. Back home. We are we are straight into it. We are going back into our meal plan, having a good start to the week because <gasps> we I mean listen, like the crumble cookies in LA were insane. We just like went off. But anyway, what I'm doing for meal prep this week is making salsa, making a big homemade salsa and it's nice to just kind of add to everything, add to the bowls, add to egg whites in the morning. It just adds a lot of flavor, gets all the veggies in. I make my own version of salsa, which I do with um, adding cucumber and bell peppers because I don't love tomatoes. So just know I'm making a salsa. And we also ordered um, Costco. We did a Costco order on Instacart. And just in case any of you don't know this, Instacart, we used to use it a lot in Toronto. We had that moment where I had ordered uh, two jalapeno peppers and they brought me two pounds of jalapeno peppers. So definitely be careful when you're doing the order, but we don't live close to a Costco and sometimes like today's a Saturday on a weekend, I don't wanna battle a Costco lineup. You can order it on Instacart. It's a little bit more expensive, but you don't need a membership and you can just, you know, have it delivered to you. So sometimes if we're running tight on time or we just want it to be delivered to us, uh, we have our Costco order come to us. So that's gonna come in like half an hour and I'm gonna make up some chicken. I'm gonna do shredded chicken, make some beans, make my lentils and just kind of prepare all my individual ingredients for meal prepping bowls throughout the week. So that's kind of the, the task for the rest of the morning. And yeah, I'll show you when it's done as a whole. Two hours later, literally, um, we've got purple sweet potato, which I've already eaten. I was eating my lunch, okay, I made a little bowl. Purple sweet potato, fire, blue zone diet appropriate. We've got shrimp. I'm out of Cajun seasoning, so it's just plain shrimp, but that's okay because we have teriyaki sauce. Uh, here's my shredded chicken. Delicious. I brought the KitchenAid out, shred up all the chicken. It's annoying to do, but produces a lot of meat. Uh, here's an example of my meal. Here's my teriyaki shrimp with noodles and veg. It looks weird because I put turmeric in the noodles. I boiled it in seasoning, but yummy. And then did some noodles with chicken because I was out of the shrimp. My chicken bowl. Here's the remaining <laughs> leftovers of it. Uh, I do purpose sweet potato, the lentils. Um, here's the pico de gallo in all of its glory, delicious. And then I boiled my beans again with a myriad of flavors and blended it to make bean paste. <laughs> but it tastes so good, I, I love it. We have tzatziki, egg whites. Yeah, that was pretty much it. It's like it takes so long to do what seems to be so little, but now we have food for the week. While I'm in the fridge showing you guys this, uh, Gorilla Mind sent over their new flavor of energy drink, mango peach, mango peach. Do you know how delicious this is? I'll tell you, it's delicious. It tastes like peach, yeah, peach rings, like peach candies. It's so good. I need them to bring out like, like a soda that's this flavor because I'll drink it, but you can only have so many energy drinks in a day. So I'd love a non-caffeinated version to continue to enjoy this all day because what a flavor, really. Also, I'm suddenly not remembering if I said this already, but I was out of lentils. So I have ordered them on Amazon and my lentils will be arriving and my lentils will be added to this meal prep lineup. I think I had food on my mouth that entire time. So if you saw that, no, you didn't. Stunning. Okay, I just I just washed my hair with a new shampoo and like if the shampoo and things itself feels nice but the leave-in conditioner is like, I I don't know what happened. My hair is so picky. It's so picky, it's so annoying. Listen you guys, I'd like to reiterate that we got home last night, bed at midnight, like it was a wild day. Um, we actually, I feel really bad. 
I am actually feeling very badly. This is the this is the not so nice part about living further away from downtown. I was supposed to stop by um, Holt Renfrew today because the Lisa Goslin team uh, was there doing a pop up. I think I'll go say hi anyway, even if they aren't still there. They were there from one to four. But I'm just scared that on a Saturday, like the traffic going downtown sometimes on Saturdays, like we've been in traffic for two hours. Like sometimes it is just absurd. And I was like, listen, I do not have time to like do my makeup and make it before 4 p.m. Um, and then we had a meeting at 4.30 that the guy just canceled. And that was the whole reason why I had said yes to going town, downtown in the first place, which is so annoying. We were kind of gonna be doing something a little bit, a little bit exciting. And he just canceled, which is so annoying. So now I feel bad, but um, SOS. Anyway, we're having dinner with Dan's fam and we're gonna go downtown anyway, but uh, the Lisa Goslin team did send me a few pieces. And if you guys, if you guys have been around, I was one of, I, I, I've said this before, but I was either one of the first customers, if not the first customer of Lisa Goslin when she launched because it was this whole thing, but I was basically on a trip I was on a cost trip back in the day and Ruby Benson, sweet angel Ruby, she is a fabulous creator from Toronto and she was on the trip with me and she was wearing these amazing rings and I was like, Ruby, where did you get these rings? And she's like, oh, my friend Lisa is about to launch this brand. And it was like a few weeks later that summer. She's like, oh, here, here you go. I messaged him and I was like, when is this ring launching? I must buy it, it's incredible, beautiful. I definitely don't wear them as much now like since I've been engaged and that's the same even with my Lisa Eldridge. <laughs> Lisa Lisa, uh, my Lisa Eldridge rings. I don't wear them as much because all of these things I wore on my left hand before I got engaged and married. So anyway, been a fan for a long time and they sent, they're kind of like known on the internet for their little smiley face bracelets, even though I know there's, there's a million on the planet. I love that they kind of do these fun versions of them, but here's their little smiley face bracelets. Lisa Goslan, thank you so, so much. I like these because if you want to bedazzle like nice and quickly, they are stretchy bracelets, so you can just throw them on, which is nice. You can feel a little bit extra fun and dandy without having to be married to them at all times. And when you're like working out and when we're playing tennis and stuff, sometimes it's annoying if I have to take all my bracelets off, which is why you don't often see me in all of my bracelets because that's out of just pure laziness of me not wanting to put them on and off at the end of the night. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at the imagery. Honestly, such great rings. I'm also really excited because they sent these earrings and these are very cute. Very, very cute. And I like that they're a little bit smaller. Someone commented on my recent video being like, your teardrop earrings make you look weird or makes my head look smaller or something. Some comment like that. And I was like, I don't care. I'm wearing them because I like them. Leave me alone. So cute. I think that's the perfect size. It's like very, very dainty chic. Also, the skin is skinning, the glow is giving. I put on that new SkinCeuticals Brightening SPF and it's, it is an instant glow on my face. Obviously, this is the second time I've worn it. I put it on yesterday, but it feels so nice. It feels nice and tacky. I haven't tried it yet, but I have a feeling that it would sit really well under makeup. Y'all. <laughs> LOL. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go downtown and you're coming with us. We saved you all a driving sequence and we've come to Metro Town. We decided to come here on our way downtown because, um, well, honestly, we have a few returns to make, so this is just a little bit easier to get some more steps in for the day. And we're going to hit up Sephora because the Sephora sale started yesterday. I've already placed my online order because you guys know every day May giveaways are coming up. Uh, but I have a few things that I want to pick up for myself. Dan has a couple things he wants to pick up. And we're gonna go see the zoo that is probably happening at Sephora right now. It is so busy. My friends, happy Sunday! Oh, it's been the most beautiful beautiful day might i just say and the clouds have just come out in case anyone cares but we had a beautiful sunny morning went for a stroll we're gonna play tennis tonight it's been a good day yesterday last night i kind of left you hanging sorry i was just looking at the footage i need to wrap up this vlog because it's 12 million years long right now but we went to the mall tackled sephora it was crazy it was so busy did a little haul and this morning i you know, got ready, filmed my little Sephora Rex. So hopefully when you're watching this vlog, if you're watching this vlog, you would have already seen that video because Dan is 
working to get that up ASAP. Uh, but did a good little roundup video. And then we spent the evening with Dan's fam and we played some Catan and cuddled sweet little baby Riley. Riley is Dan's family's dog and she's so sweet and she just loves us. She loves Dan the most because he plays with her endlessly, but Riley loves us. We're, you know, we're besties. And it's just, honestly, we so look forward to our Catan nights because I wish Catan was something that we could play ourselves, but you can't play two people. I think they have like two person versions. I know I could play on my phone like against the internet or a robot, but there's just nothing like a good game of Catan. So we had a nice little evening, just basically getting ourselves set up for the week. We have a nice busy week ahead. Anywho, so yeah, I was sitting here going through the footage being like, woohoo, yay, gonna finish the vlog, whatever. And I realized, and I'm just putting this as a reminder to myself to show you guys what I picked up because I always do this to myself. I'm always like, oh, I'll show you later. And then, you know, it exits my brain. I forget to do it. and. Here we are. Um, Mav is in her bed. Good girl, Meryl. You having a nice nap? Meryl has multiple beds around the house and she kind of goes through phases of which one is her favorite. Over the last few weeks, if not months, she has not touched her bed in the living room. She's just been in this one. And it's here right now because I did have it beside me in the bedroom, but um, sometimes my allergies are just too much. And she's a happy girl. She likes being perched there so she can see everything that's going on. Also, I rearranged the room for filming the Sephora Rex video today and I actually kind of like it. I like the mirror in the corner like that. It's kind of nice. It feels so bright in here on this day. Shall I get naked in front of my neighbors? Allow me to show you what I picked up at Aloe. Okay, here's what I bought. So here's the leggings, which I think are so fun and cute. I like that they're shiny. They have this cool little piping stitching through it. They had a bunch of different colors, which honestly all of them are very cute. They had like a really cute green. They had a purple. There was white, but it was like a different material. It was more like soft sweatsuity material, but really fun. I like them. I think they would be much better on someone with like a really long torso. <laughs> I am all legs and no torso. Like my hips are here and so are my ribs. Like I just have a squished torso. So it's kind of funny when something's a little extra long, but I could always, no, I wouldn't fold it down. Anyway, anyway, those are the pants. They're cute. I like them. And then I really love this sports bra. I like this ruching detail a lot. It was a little bit more wide, which is nice. You know, for that little armpit area. Here's the back. And then I bought the same top in gray because I really liked this anthracite. Anthracite, oh sorry, what is this called? Wild things? A oh, wild thing bra. Wild thing bra, bought it in the gray too. Very, very cute, very nice. And then I also bought this um, like turtleneck, which maybe someone would wear this as just a regular top and not a workout top. Um, I wouldn't simply because it has a giant hello there. <laughs> but I kind of, <sighs> I'm eating my hair right now, but I kind of love the idea of like doing a yoga class on this. I think it's very chic and sleek and very, very nice. So I got that in black, cute little turtleneck top with love. I'm not putting this on right now because I will simply wipe all of my makeup off and I don't want to deal with that right now. But that's my little owl haul. Very cute, very nice. And with love you guys, I'm so sorry that I forgot about that, but here we are at the end of the video. I'm gonna love you and leave you. This vlog has been long enough. Happy Sunday, happy weekend, happy midweek. Whatever day it is that this video goes live, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here and for watching you guys, and I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Catch you in next week's vlog. Lots of adventures to come. Love you all. Goodbye. Bye!